All right, so here we have a nice example of a B&K model 707 Dynajet tube tester. And as you can see, it's pretty clean. Uh, the only issue I've found is the, uh, oh, uh, the little ball bearing in the, on the switch is missing. But I did take this unit uh, apart and looked at the back, and, and, the, and the switches are fine. It's just it's not going click, click, click like it should. But that's the only issue. The rest of these switches work well. But again, the little ball bearing that uh, helps it do the click into position is uh, out of there. In any case, uh, some of the tube sockets had been replaced by the previous owner. Um, I did uh, go ahead and test this one. I have two of these. I have one over here. This is my home unit. This is the second one that I have. So this is a known to be good 6L6 tube that we uh, put in there. So I'm going to go ahead and press the, uh, the number one test button, which is right here. There you go. As you can see, test nice and strong. And it uh, tests almost identical in my other one. So I'll do some other tube uh, checks, but um, it tests uh, that tube good. And I have tested some other tubes, but we'll do some more. I did want to show you that it does work. The B&K uh, 707 Dynajet tube tester.